Okay, so I'm going to talk about Fair Pay Campaign. And it originally started because um, it pretty much states like no one should work for free and that employees would rather hire unpaid interns over full-time employees. And so there's a competition between unpaid interns and uh, full-time employees. And it was started by Mikey Franklin. And he started it to pretty much state that um, there should be equal rights for unpaid interns. Um, and through this, there have been 20 lawsuits that have been filed. And the lawsuits cite uh, Fair Labor Standards Act. And that pretty much states that employers are not allowed to um, take advantage of unpaid interns and they cannot overwork them and then like um, gain advantages from them. And so um, through that, they've actually established it and that's what the Fair Pay campaign is pretty much about. And it's just pretty much to have equality for unpaid interns and just interns in general and about um, unemployment, which we will discuss later on. And for Outlook for new grads right now, uh, for graduates, uh, it's still pretty much stated that a college degree still, you know, will help you get a better job or, you know, it'll look better. And so as of now, Americans with um, a four-year degree earn about 90% more than those without one. And as of now, unemployment and underemployment is rising significantly. And underemployment is actually different compared to unemployment. <coughs> underemployment is where it's, um, a job that doesn't require a bachelor's degree. And so for recent graduates right now that graduated, they're actually going into low wage jobs or working part time. Um, and because of this, they're having to deal with long term and short term loans. And uh, long term and short term loans are due to the decrease of um, the government and state spending, decrease in um, government and state spending on higher education. And the fact is that these graduates are going into such low paying jobs or they're going into um, these unpaid internships that they aren't able to pay off loans. And so um, they're gonna have to deal with that later and it'll just keep piling up and there'll be interest and it'll just get really bad for them. And so um, that's how the outlook is right now for graduates. And as of now, 49, state, 49 states are spending less per student. And so just overall for graduates as of now, it's very difficult and that's why unemployment and underemployment is increasing. And now I'll pass it off to Alicia, who will uh, talk about problems. First, I'm going to talk about minority problems and focusing just on Texas unemployment rates and looking at the fashion statistics. Minorities have been the hardest, and they fit the stereotype, unfortunately. Specifically, Blacks and Hispanics are the ones who are not as recognized in college college degree and they're overrepresented in the unemployment pool. Um, blacks have the highest unemployment rate. 20 to 24 year olds who are black um, make up twice the total rate of those who are white. Hispanics are actually the fastest growing ethnic group in Texas and they are more on the low side. Uh, when dealing with educational goals and getting a college degree going to college compared to whites. And then next I'll be talking about government problems. And it's because our unemployment rates are so low that um, the government has to cut a lot of our benefits such as the social our social security and that is probably the biggest one that we have to face since we rely on tax revenues to keep on coming and have a constant flow. Um, unemployment rates being so low can affect the national economy and which will limit the United States in participating with um, the global market and this not only affects our generation of millennials now, but it also affects like our future economy and our future population and generation. And now so I'm here to talk about billions of people in debt. Well, right now we're going through we're going through a job crisis, and a lot of students may not be able to pay off their debts. 
We need things like innovation, work productivity, new jobs to help the economy. And because a lot of people are not able to pay their debts, and because a lot of people are not able to find jobs, a lot of students are defaulting on their loans. 10% of borrowers in 2011 defaulted on their loans, and that is the highest that we've had since baby boomers. Now, you guys are wondering, how does it affect me? Well, we're all college students, and we're all going to graduate, and the majority of us are going to go into the workforce. Even if you want to start a business, you're going to go into the workforce. Debt, unemployment, and low wages for young adults affect other generations. It, it affects everyone. Losses in Social Security funding, due to the fact that not a lot of us are able to pay off our debt, and a lot of people are defaulting, we're not able to put in money into Social Security fund. So what's going to end up happening most likely is that Social Security is going to get canceled by the time we get older. 18 to 24 year olds pay $6.8 million less in Social Security income taxes. A lot of 18 to 24 year olds are moving back home. The majority of people are living with their families now. And the whole dream of owning an American home is becoming unrealizable. The Workforce Utopia. Texas as a whole is known for having a great economy. We have a lot of people that move down here from different states to Texas to get jobs. Texas, we have stronger job growth between 2000 to 2013. During the recession, we did have a lot of jobs that were here in Texas. National unemployment in April was 6.3%. In Texas, we had 5.2%, which is very well. However, we fail to represent the young adults and the college graduates. 16 to 19 year olds unemployed are 21.5 percent. 20 to 24 year olds unemployed are 10.7 percent. So what ends up happening is people graduate from college and are able to, and instead of finding jobs that suit their degree, they either have to work with jobs that doesn't suit their degree, or they get jobs that pay minimum wage, or they have to do any type of job regardless of the pay. So students are not able to pay their loans, students are going back to live with their parents, at the end of the day, we have a really bad economy if this keeps going on. And now, Esther is here for the quiz. Would one of you read the quiz answers? Uh, uh, not answers, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, questions. <laughs> questions, please, out loud. Okay, so number one is Blank Blank co-founded the Fair Pay Number two is the fastest growing ethnic group in Texas is blank. And number three is blank, it's not the national economy. And number four is name three out of four times a generation. And there's a hint also for everybody. And then five is name three out of four ways to get the economy right. Great.